Hey, what's up guys? Uh, everybody knows that I love to flip and pitch. Mostly pitch, basically, but we tend to call that flipping and uh, have different people ask me, you know, what setups do I need to have? And here are two rods that I pretty well use 98% of the time when I'm flipping and pitching throughout the year. Um, the first one is pretty, is gonna be the standard overall flipping stick, whether I'm fishing docks, rocks, laydowns, bushes, you know, so many different things. I like a 7.6. Uh, heavy action rod, but the thing that's different about this rod that I've designed with Favorite is it's made for braid. I'm either going to flip with straight braid or I'm going to flip with braid and a fluorocarbon leader, which is what I often do around hard objects like docks, rocks, wood, and things like that. I designed this rod to be softer than most flipping sticks because I like to use braid. I feel like there's so many benefits to using braid, but I, I've also had to learn that I have to detune my rod a little bit to not break my line, not tear a hole in the fish's mouth. And when I do get a big fish beside of the boat and I get it out of that cover, I need a rod that actually gives because the braid doesn't give. And it's really easy to jump fish off or send them over the water, you know, over the gunnel or whatever whenever you're flipping and pitching. It's just better to have a more moderate action, you know, rod that really gives to the fish because like I said, the braid doesn't stretch. This is one I've worked with favorites, a 7.6 Heavy. I love this thing. A lot of times I've run anywhere from a 17 to 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. I can also fish straight braid with this rod. It's extremely light for a 7.6. And like I said, the action is just perfect for just general purpose, all around flipping. Um, and then the other rod that I use a lot as well, especially whenever I'm using straight braid, and this is my baby right here. This is the 711 Balance Line. It's a 7.11 heavy, but it's very similar to how I built the 7.6. And I've been working with Favorite on this balance series for a while now. I've had a, been using a prototype today. The thing is money. It's got a soft tip, very moderate action, but as these rods bend, they're very parabolic, meaning they'll bend all the way down seemingly to the handle sometimes on a big fish. But what you're doing is creating a load, a very powerful load with the right action that when you set the hook proper, with braid, with no stretch, that you're not breaking your line, you're not tearing a hole in the fish's face, and you're literally power loading the hook into that fish instead of snatching on them with a super stiff rod. You're power loading into that fish, and then when you get that fish out of that cover and you get them to the boat, the rod gives, the rod bends, until you're able to get your hands on them, or if you want to boat flip them. So I recommend you know finding some rods that are like this, more moderate action, softer tip, Go soft before you go extremely heavy. I spent years learning that lesson the hard way. My good friend Ish Monroe tried to tell me years ago to go to a softer rod, which seemed to be completely backwards of whatever, where I thought I needed to be. So if you're starting to get into flipping and pitching, think a little bit on the softer side and work your way stiffer than the other way around. I promise you it's gonna help you land and catch more fish.